the next subject we come to is non duality uh, in very simple terms what is non duality the word advaita itself which is advaita means not to what does that actually mean ramesh used to use a sentence in the indian scriptures where he would say in fact to read from the book in the hindu scriptures it is said thou art the doer thou art the experiencer thou art the speaker thou art the listener now who is this thou who is the speaker and who is the listener consciousness because if i was not conscious speaking would not happen and if you are not conscious listening won't happen so who is the speaker and who is the listener actually if you just very simply investigate it is consciousness which is the speaker and consciousness is the listener therefore consciousness is the doer and consciousness is the experiencer you think that i speak and you listen or you speak and i listen but if either of us were in deep sleep or under sedation speaking or listening would not happen therefore and this ramesh used to say very often in his satsangs in this movie that we call life the script is written directed and produced by consciousness it is consciousness that plays all the characters in the movie consciousness is the screen on which the movie takes place and consciousness is watching the movie which fundamentally means that the same energy is functioning through all of us and once again the example he would use is the electricity in the kitchen is what animates the various gadgets it is the same energy which functions through the microwave through the toaster through the electric kettle the energy is the same without which those are dead instruments similarly it is the same energy which flows through all of us without which we would be dead bodies therefore this energy is one the source is one the source is one but when the source became the manifestation life as we know it the very basis of that manifestation had to be duality which means the basis of manifestation is two good and bad beautiful and ugly rich and poor up and down left and right healthy children handicapped children that is the basis of life the one has become the two and the two the many in manifestation did god create only the good and not the bad did god only create jesus and mother teresa if so who created hitler who created osama bin laden both good and bad must come from this one source so this is very clearly actually expounding what the indian scriptures say that the foundation of all this is one you know it gets into the same loop if you say uh, if god created us who created god it's the same thing you know if the who created the devil that's something which comes up a lot at least in the western cultures
therefore coming back to what was reiterated in the earlier chapters we are only instruments through which actions happen instruments through which god or consciousness or the source functions god creates saints and hard as it may sound god creates psychopaths now why did god create hitler is the natural question which anyone would ask you know what was the need the reason is the same the basis of manifestation as we know it is duality duality of every conceivable kind wealth and poverty good people and bad people kindness and cruelty without this duality life as we know it could not have happened that is everyone's experience i mean you know pleasure and pain for example so again you know this touches a very sensitive point why did god create handicapped children what was the need they haven't harmed anyone so the answer is actually that god created handicapped children because god created healthy children we don't ask why did god create healthy children we take it for granted that children should be healthy you know that is the way we see things but duality of every conceivable kind no matter how painful it is to us we have to accept this that the source is the same from all this from which all this has come nothing in the whole world can exist without without its interconnected counterpart and to accept this duality is what it is all about so very clearly advaita non duality means that the source is one from which all this has come but the mechanism and for the way duality for life to function manifestation to function the ground of it is duality <clears throat> 